Hi, my name is Buzz. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a series of videos on walking the Camino de Santiago de Compostela and I'm kind of doing it from a more mature, an older person uh, point of view. I walked the Camino the first time when I was 69 and I just walked it my fourth time. I finished in the fall when I was 73. So today's video is going to be about how to get to the start. I always started all four times in France in a little village called Saint Jean Pied du Port. That's a popular starting point for a lot of people. And I'm coming from California and it took a while to figure this out. A lot of people have questions like, how do I get there? Because it's a little village and it's not that easy. Some people fly to Paris and take the train back with several connections. What worked really for me was to fly from either San Francisco or San Jose to Madrid. Okay, so from Madrid, I just take a short flight. It's about 50 minutes to Pamplona. In Pamplona, you got a couple of options there. A train doesn't go there, but buses do and taxis do. Uh, the first time I took a bus and it took a long time. I had to wait a long time for a bus. Uh, I had to take a taxi from the airport to the bus station. And what I did the last three times, which was really convenient, is I just walked right out of the airport and got in a taxi. Uh, and it's about an hour ride over the Pyrenees uh, to St. John, and it's about a hundred euro, but I shared a cab with uh, four, uh, three other people, so we just split it, and it wasn't so bad that way. So getting your airline tickets, I've always just gone on cheap flights or, or some, some of those places you can go to get flights, and I just kind of figure it out, the timing, that's the first thing I look up. So I've either flown from San Jose or San Francisco, and you know, transfer in Chicago. One time I flew Air Canada and, and transferred in uh, Toronto. And also book my flight from Madrid to um, Pamplona. And most of the time that's Iberia, that's a Spanish airline. And then to taxi is you walk through the airport. It's really small, there's just one terminal there. Just walk right out to the front and they're, the taxis, they're all lined up right in the front and they're all taxis that are licensed. You never, never want to get a taxi inside an airport. You want to go outside and find the, the ones that are all licensed. Um, and there's a post that's right there and it has the prices, it has the fees for various places. And it says right on there, St. Jean Pied de Port. And so the first time I went, I asked the guy um, in Spanish, uh, how much to St. John, and he just pointed. And I said, ah, oh, 100 euro, all right, let's go. And so it's right around that. It's really, really easy to do. Um, and sometimes there are people out in front saying, hey, you're going to St. John? Hey, mind if we share a cab? And they'll get in with you. And it's, uh, like I said, it's about an hour to, to get into St. John. And I usually get in one or two o'clock, plenty of time to go get my Camino passport and then go find an albergue to stay in. Uh, there's one that I'll talk about later that I really like. Um, have have some uh, lunch and then have some dinner later, explore the town, and you get up early, ready to walk the next morning. Timing's pretty important on when you get to St. John because you want to get there early enough to go to the government building and get your Camino passport. That's the passport that you have that you carry with you the whole way. And to get in the places to stay along the Camino, the albergues, uh, or what they're called, they're kind of like dorms. I'll talk more about those later. Um, you have to have one of those. You have to show them that and sometimes your real passport also. Uh, so you want to get there in time to get that from the government building and then you want to find your accommodation for the night, your very first night there. Um, those Albergue, hotel, whatever you choose to, to stay in. I'll talk about accommodations more later also. Um, and then really you want to get there in time to explore the St. John. It's this beautiful little village. It's got a lot of uh, Roman architecture there. So what I always did was to get into Madrid earlier in the morning, like 7, 7.30, a couple hours in between, take a flight to Pamplona, and then the taxi into St. John by 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You have plenty of time to do all that. If you have any questions about anything that I've said so far or anything else, please um, respond on the comment section and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.